Hey, what is going on? It is your friendly neighborhood, Matt, and I can't wait to show you the details on this awesome Aladdin minifig from Aladdin 3477. Now, I'm going to show you how to put this guy together if you have this from your swag box, or maybe you ordered this as an add-on, or maybe you got this through the pre-sale store. Some of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, yeah, it's a bag. Clearly, I know how to put together a minifig. The legs go on bottom, the head goes, you know, that goes on top, the hair goes on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of these figures are a little bit more complex. Obviously, the Aladdin figure is pretty easy, but there's some extra pieces. You might not know exactly what they uh, go to or, or what they're supposed to do. So I'm going to show you how to put together this guy here. Now, I just wanted to show you a quick comparison um, of what these figures look like. This is the Disney Aladdin figure, which of course is cool, but when you look at the close details of the Aladdin figure from Aladdin 3477, oh my gosh, it is just awesome, awesome detail. And uh, it's just it's just amazing. Like in the boots, in the vest, it's got uh, metallic buttons and... Um, it's just really, really cool. It looks just like Eric Steele. All right, here is how you put this Sucka MC together. Now to open this bag, I'm usually prepared with scissors, which I am not, but we are gonna tear this open and display the contents right here. Usually they fly all over the place, so that was already a success, very good. So um, part of this figure is already together. Now the cool thing is, Aladdin has two different expressions on his head. This one here, I'm actually gonna put on my glasses here so I can see a little bit better. Oh, that's much better. So here is a little bit more stern. This side, let me turn the head around. This one, oh, look at that, he's happy, Eric, and he's, uh, he's kind of having fun. He is uh, a charming rogue, for sure. So there's a couple things you wanna do. You're actually gonna take the head off for a second. The first thing we want to do, we want to put on the arms and he actually has two white sleeves that stick out. So you're putting these on so that the arms kind of curve forward slightly and they just pop in. Once they're in, you're good to go. They kind of stay locked in. Now, you'll notice that you actually have three little hands. So one hand goes in there and it kind of pops right in. The hands always go up. Like you see how there's a little bit more when you look at it from the side. You see how there's a little bit more on the top than there is on the bottom. That's how it goes. If you have it like this, that's upside down. Hands, because like if you look at my hand and if I make a fist, you see how there's it kind of goes up a little bit like that. So that's how you know which way to put the hands. They're actually supposed to be, I can show you from the side, they're supposed to be upright like that. So we're gonna put another one in like this. Now you've got one left over and this is an extra. Uh, sometimes because these are really small pieces, sometimes they can break. I have one, I have not broken one yet. So um, what I like to save them for is any time, like let's say my buddy Mike who's filming this right now, if I ever like uh, went over his house and I see he's working on something and he needs some help, I say, hey Mike, do you need a hand? He says, oh my gosh, yeah. And I say, okay, here you go. And I hand him this little hand right here. It's, it's, trust me, it goes over great with everyone. Okay, so this is just an extra. You can set it aside. Keep it away from babies so they don't swallow it. And, uh, and you should be good to go. Now we've got this headless body. So the next thing we need to do, we need to put on this really cool satchel. And the satchel bag actually clicks right onto it here. Some people call it a man purse. Don't say that to Aladdin, he doesn't like that. He calls it a satchel. Now there is a button on the back and this is something that if you wanted to, you can attach pieces to the back. So you can actually attach like a backpack or something to the back of Aladdin if you want, which is kind of cool. So this kind of loops over the arm and kind of goes over the neck like that. And there it is hanging right on the side. And you're good to go with his awesome adventure satchel. From there, we are gonna put on, we're gonna choose which expression. I like the kind of happy Aladdin. So we're gonna go ahead, pop in that sucka MC. There we go, right? And this is pretty easy. Throw on the dreamy hair. 
I wish I had cool hair like this. You did it used to. I yeah, but like this is really this is just really cool. Dark hair. Mysterious, right? Mm -hmm. Um oh my gosh, this came with did this come with an extra hand? This came with two extra hands. That is lucky because usually it only comes with one extra hand. That's good luck. All right. So in this hand here, we are going to put a blaster. And it's kind of it's kind of a Lego style blaster, but if you look at the real thing, I actually have the real thing right here. It's kind of what the blaster looks like. It's kind of this double. It's got this uh Man, it's in the official collector's edition. It says what kind of what kind of uh, blaster this is, but you've got the blaster right here. Um, so the rest seems like it's uh, self-explanatory. Well, you do put Aladdin on his little stand here, and this way, you know, if you have him up on a shelf and the shelf gets bumped, he's not going to fall over like minifigs often do. So it's kind of this little freebie stand he comes with. Now you've got the rest of these pieces, and you might be like, what is this? Like, what am I supposed to do with these? This actually creates what's called a tracking light. And in the film, he acquires uh, this light that has a tracker on it, uh, which he uses several times in the first film. So the way you hold it, this almost looks like a coffee mug when you hold it this way, but you're actually going to turn it upside down like that. Then you take two of these clear pegs and you, oh, I guess they go upside down. You put the clear pegs in like so. So that's kind of the light. And then there's another black cap on top of it. So it's kind of like this, it's kind of like a sci-fi looking light and you can kind of see through it. It's got this clear thing. And that's the handle for it there. And put it in his hand and there you go. There is your dreamy Aladdin, ready for adventure. He's got his tracking light, and uh, he is ready. And uh, you just better hope, Aladdin, that this guy doesn't turn and see you. Hey, street rat, stop there. <laughs> right? Awesome. All right. So um, anyway, that is how you put Aladdin together. Um, I can't wait. If you guys are making cool videos with your figures, I want to see them. If you're taking photos, oh my gosh, I want to see where you are taking Aladdin. If you're taking him out on adventures in the sandbox or out in the woods, or if you're building play sets like a little sky sail for him to fly, I want to see it. So be sure to tag me and Aladdin3477 on Facebook. Awesome. Thank you guys so much.